What's up guys, this is Pastor Clio one more time and today we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of a tutorial C Sharp, we're going to be doing the data, we're going to be seeing the data type date time So let's see it I already have everything ready just to keep on going Because if I want to start from the beginning, my program takes a while just to load So, it's so slow Yeah, but anyway, so Let's see, date Time now now equals day time that now okay cool so let's just do a console the right line so let's just write down here like the day today is Today is let's concatenate. We can do concatenation right here, or we can just use a placeholder, which is going to be in brackets zero. We don't have to use a concatenation, but just a comma, and we just write out now. But we'll use the date. So let's print it. Let's print that. Let's execute it. Or let's run it. So it just takes a little bit of while. Nice. Today today is the 5-19-2019. The time is 5.56 with 9 seconds p.m. Now, if I want to see every, like, data type, the daytime has components. If we want to see every component, for example, if we want to see um, the month, right? Let's do the month. Um, let's declare right here. And month equals to now that month. So we should be one month away. We're uh, June. June. We're May. It should be number five, right? Um, well, let's uh, let's do a console right here so we can print it. Let's put the month is. So let's see if she gives five. The month is five, yeah, because it's May. Yeah, so it will give you every single component. If you want to do the hour, we'll just give you the hour. If you want to, if you want to do the year, we'll give you the year. Let's just do one more for the year. And year equals to now that year so we don't have to type this we'll just copy it we'll just do it quick uh, let's put the year right here the year is for year So it should give us the year 2018. The year is 2018. Cool. So the other thing is, if you want to find out information about your computer, um, for example, like the user and your computer, right? Um, there is a, a couple. Of, there's there's three things that we can do to find out. Well, this is what you have to do. For every single component of a date time, you can just do it. As really, just follow the. Follow the structure, um, use the data type. Yeah, um, for example, let's go. 
So let's go do um let's do another console. Right there. Let's get rid of this. Now if you wanna find out like you know um the device name, what type of device is this? Device name. Let's just concatenate, it will just do the same thing. And by by your much right there. That machine. Oh, okay, I don't even know how to type machine. Machine name. Yeah. Should give me a type of machine I have. The device name, it's a laptop, it's a Toshi, what is it, what if I thought about Toshiba, but it's a TA3EI9OT, I, I gotta learn what that type of device. So the other thing we can find out about that computer is like, you know, if you have, what type of system do you have, you know, let's do the same thing, let's do, Let's do it. Let's just change this. Um. So 64, 64-bit system. Um. So the environment. Environment that is 64 bit operator op 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 operating system. Man, I don't know how to spell. Okay, so let's run it. It will give me the operating system. Okay, 64-bit system is true. Comes is true because it is a 64-bit system. So one more thing you can do is we can find out the the name username. You know, let's see. Username. Oh man, I have to spell username. Okay. There is. My name is Pastor, and how it came with the Pastor. So I'll give you the data, the day today, the month, the year, device name type of system you have, the username, you know. So hopefully you guys like this short video. So thanks.